guarantee. This month, get 0% for 72 months or up to 2,500 bonus cash on new gas and hybrid Camrys. Since 1921, nobody sold more cars or helped more customers. Nobody. Orsman Chantilly Toyota. Let's ride together. Will the new champ continue to win and prosper? I can't do it. I, can't. I could never do it. Find out on Jeopardy. Jeopardy, tonight at 7.30 on ABC7. Black Lives Matter protesters rallying in Northeast Washington, blocking roads and entrances to the National Fraternal Order Police Legislative Building. They're there to block any new laws that criminalize young black Americans, they say. And they also say they plan to stay out for 28 hours. Why 28? Because that's how long Michael Brown's body lay on the street in Ferguson, Missouri. In Northwest Washington, black police officers took to the streets to honor their fallen brothers in blue. The march wrapped up the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement's week-long conference, which was held here in the district. And tonight, police and police officers rather in Loudoun County are getting a show of support from the community they serve there. Roz Plater joins us live from Ashburn, where officers are being treated now to something really nice before they hit the streets. Roz, tell us about it. Just had to leave a couple of minutes ago, but let's go ahead and show you some pictures. Uh, these folks came out during roll call uh, to bring these officers a treat. They brought them pizza and brownies uh, and sodas and uh, to wash it all down with and letters of appreciation. Um, all of this uh, is the work of a new community group uh, called uh, the Loudoun Police Appreciation Group organized on Facebook. Now, folks said they were moved to do something after the deadly attacks on police officers in other cities like Dallas and Baton Rouge. Here is what the organizer had to say about it. What was jarring to us was the uh, Facebook post by the officer in Baton Rouge and the way he had felt both in uniform and outside of uniform. And, and uh, I don't know, I, we, I think we wanted to all collectively show our support to the police department. They're also bringing with them letters of support. A lot of those letters are being written by kids in the neighborhood. I'm just going to read a little bit of this one from Lola here. She says, I feel bad that you have to feel scared sometimes, but you have so much courage to still protect us. Thank you for keeping us protected. You rock. That's what they're doing. They've done it a couple of times now, and they will do it again tonight for dinner for Leesburg Police. So a lot of uh, support in this community for law enforcement officers. We're live in Ashburn. I'm Roz Plater, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Roz. Great okay. scene. Great scene. Well, it's warm out there, yeah. but it's comfortably warm. Not too bad. It's not too bad. It's going to be yeah, later we don't, on. We don't often sit here in July and say it's comfortably warm out, but it is tonight. It will not be comfortably warm the next few days. It's going to get mighty rough. Okay. But it was a good thing. Today was the day that Steve Rudin uh, got the assignment to go up the road in Clarendon. He's at the farmer's market mm -hmm. there. We I tell you what, he's Steve, right at home there, yeah. too, we should add. Yeah. He loves a farmer's market. <laughs> At this man. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Look where I am. Hey, we are at the Clarendon Farmers Market. It is open until 7 o'clock. You can always tell what's in season around here. Tomatoes, a lot of tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes, regular tomatoes, peppers. They have berries, they have melons, and of course, peaches. Let's talk about the weather for this evening. It looks fantastic. We have lots of sunshine, temperatures that will stay in the 80s with a good deal of sunshine. Now, the sun will set a little bit past 8 o'clock tonight and we are going to look for our conditions to cool down just a little bit not quite as humid now if you're not so much into the fruits and the vegetables as we head back here live you also have a choice of breads and cakes and brownies and all sorts of things so as I head this back to Doug Doug what would you rather me bring back tomatoes or something like this your choice all right uh, tomatoes would be good Tomatoes would be good. Bring me back a few. Tomatoes. Yep, that work. Staying healthy, huh? Oh, always, always, always. <laughs> don't don't let Sounds this good. fool you. That's that's genetic. That's not too much eating. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get you started here with what's happening. Thanks, Steve. Beautiful view right now in Annapolis at uh, St. Mary's Elementary School. Temperature 84 degrees. Some clouds on the distant horizon, but plenty of sunshine around the area. And it's going to be great throughout the entire evening tonight with uh, lower humidity levels and comfortable July temperatures. 84 in Winchester now, 84 in Frederick, Baltimore at 83, 84 over on the midshore in Easton, 84.
83 at Andrews and 85 at Reagan National Airport. And of course, we think it's comfortable because it all based on the dew point temperatures, the moisture content of the air. And when they're running in the 50s and low 60s, that's as comfortable as it gets here in July. Now tonight, the Nats uh, in town uh, again against the Dodgers. First pitch at 705 should be sunny and 83 degrees. A perfect weather night at the ballpark. Unlike last night, didn't wind up so perfect weather with those storms, but we've got high pressure building in tonight, so we will have no storms. Matter of fact, as we go through the next several days, our chances of storms will be very, very small. With the heat and humidity building, as this high pressure moves offshore, everything's going to kick into gear, make way for this building hot air mass out west to move in. But as we get